But we also have some tweets under the random musings section of Trump tweets. Random musings. Oh, good. Yes. Thank God. Let's do that. His One of his random musings from October 14, <laughs> 2012, said, I have never seen a thin person drinking Diet Coke. 2012. Ugh. <laughs> well. <laughs> so listen to this lie. May uh, at the 8th of May 2013. Sorry, losers and haters. He does sound like a little girl, but my IQ is one of the highest, and you all know it. How would we know it, sir? We, well, because if we were super smart, we would know it, I guess. Please Why don't, don't you tell feel us what so, your IQ is. Yeah, please don't feel so stupid or insecure. It's not your fault. Mm, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, hold up. There's <laughs> another one I wanted to read. Uh, let me uh, find it. I mean, this man is just the gift that keeps on giving. Right. He is oh, listen to this one. Head. Uh, March 19, 2016. If crazy Megan Kelly didn't cover me so much on her terrible show, terrible her show. ratings would totally tank. She is so average in so many ways. Ooh, listen to this one. <laughs> on 9th of May, 2014, Rosie O'Donnell. Just says she felt shame at being fat, not politically correct. She killed Star Jones for weight loss surgery. Just had it. <sighs> Roseanne blocked me. What? Yeah, I know. I was. You know, she blocks a lot of people. Though. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. if you don't agree with her, you're just right. And blocked. I did not. All I did, I was talking to Ryan Stout. Mm -hmm. I was talking to a different comic, and I tagged her, which was my fault. <laughs> Who knew that she read her own Twitter feed? <laughs> She's <laughs> fucking famous. But what, you tagged her, and what, what was she? I just said something. She had said something about supporting Trump, right. and I said, um, I said, so made some crack about it, and uh, all of a sudden blocked <laughs> <laughs> Rose, I'm like, i don't have time to be funny i'm only a comedian exactly i'm just trying to just live it off my residuals leave me alone and i was like all right zag yeah you catching up with me on the block jack <laughs> okay here's one from trump august 28 2012 at ariana huff is unattractive both inside and out i fully understand why her former husband left her for a man he made a wow. good decision. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, is there any fact there? Was did her husband did sign? You know, with him, we got to do our own research. <laughs> you'll find out she was never even married. You know. Right, right. She was alone for yeah. so long. Yeah, yeah. We can't just take his anything he says at face value. <laughs> so everybody, research that on your own. Right, and uh, let let everyone know. It's uh, yeah. The he had, he's constantly like. Didn't he hate Arnold Schwarzenegger's version of The Apprentice? Didn't he well, tweet about that? See, I'm on the fence about that because, yes, the ratings were lower than it was when he had it. But I feel like because he's executive producer still on the credits getting a percentage of the show. Right. That he's trying to tweet to bring the ratings up so that he can get more money. He's using political office, public office for his business. It's a conflict of interest. He shouldn't even be able to tweet about The Apprentice while he has an ownership <laughs> in it. Uh, when Jesse Ventura was uh, made... Uh, president of Minnesota. Uh, when he became governor of Minnesota, essentially he, he appointed his, his staff and mm -hmm. his, uh, the cabinet and everything. And then he literally started looking around to see how he could make some money by being <laughs> governor of Minnesota. And this why is else just be governor of Minnesota. Why else? I guess, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Dayton seems to be doing a good job anyway, but the, uh, I, that's exactly, I mean, it's just at a higher level. The mm -hmm. thing about Trump though, is that he does things like, He's like the villain in Austin Powers, where he's like, I'm going to make $1 million. And mm -hmm. you're like, there's trillions. Rubbing on a cat or whatever. Right, there's <laughs> trillions of dollars lying around, gold doubloons. Yeah. You're going to make a $1 million on some, ho you're going to cheat the world on yeah. hotel rooms? Right. You're such a hack. He's such a fucking yeah. hack that I can't, it's yeah. so hard to even yeah. realize that he's such a shitty He's a shitty businessman, and it's just hard he to care. He is a care. shitty businessman. And, and every time, when his father was alive, he bailed him out of all the shitty business deals. Did he ever, does he ever mention his mother? He he doesn't, he just mentions how she was a housewife. That was it? It was, uh, okay. Yeah, that's, for him, that's a woman's job is in the home. Right. You know, and, and, and Ivanka, you know, he, he's that type of man who wants for his daughter what he would never want for his woman. Which is... You a know, life, which is yeah, which is uh, getting out of the dungeon, yeah, you know, being more than a sex slave, yeah, you know that <laughs> kind of thing. So 
You know, yeah. he allowed Ivanka, you know, to flourish like her brothers, mm -hmm. but he would never marry a woman like Ivanka, right. you know, because he wants all the power and the control. He wants you to be you too afraid to leave him because you would lose your lifestyle. Right, right. It's like, how are you, you going to pay for that? So right, right. He's yeah. Like, he's, yeah, I can't afford these shoes on my own. Right. And then he gives you this prenup that is so shitty, you may as well stay with him. No. You know, you get no. like a can of sardines and a Diet Coke.